Okay, so we are doing a YouTuber gardening tag, White House on the Hill, tagged us back in March. And we, I mean, it's been on my to-do list for that whole time, we just haven't gotten to it because life got crazy with listing the house and everything, we just didn't get done. So, we're doing it. Just five questions. Jake did not get the questions, I got them from another friend that did them, um, and pretty much all the people that I know of that I would probably tag to do this have done it. So I'm actually going to tag our kids. They have their own channel and we have some avid gardeners. So I'm going to tag our kids and anybody else that wants to do it. So first question, why do we garden? Or why do we try to garden? Because we haven't really been successful. We've grown things. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of tricky to garden up here. You really, a greenhouse or... Um, really good row cover system, something like that works best if you're going to garden here, which we have not had. Um, we enjoy learning how to. We do. We do enjoy we learning. We just haven't been good at learning. it yet. So much learning. Uh, I will link our playlist in the description box. It's our mountain gardening playlist. It has all the videos that I've done pertaining to gardening. Um, we had a really good start last year. I had lots of beautiful plants and little cups, and then I took too long getting them in the ground because I was worried we were going to get a frost, and I didn't have row covers, and I think some of them got root bound, and and then we we, well, and we get learned too that full sun. Su full sun doesn't mean fourteen hours of sun. Yeah, we get a lot of sun in our yard in the summer, like a ton of it, and they got too much sun. And by the time we ordered shade cloths and got those up, it just it just didn't go well. Maybe a little sad because they put a lot of work into it. But the reason why we try to garden is just so, in general, we're not uh, running to the store for everything. Um, try to be a little more self-sufficient uh, as we've looked even recently. All the recalls on meat and greens and Like romaine. Everything. Like all the things. It, and it's always salad greens. Have you noticed that? It's, it's a lot of the times that there's a recall, it's salad greens. And so just to, again, be healthier to kind of, again, know what we are eating. Um, that's why we are trying to garden. Um, and, and our hopefully kids get eat a lot, trying to have that much, like, fresh produce on hand all the time for them. It's really hard. Yep. Um, okay, so question number two, why do we do YouTube? It's an outlet, I think. Um, yeah. It's, I don't know, Jen's the one that started us on it. I did. I started us when we lived in Meridian like four years ago, but that was a different channel. I had kind of like a mom channel, you know, mom stuff. And then three years ago, I started a family channel when we were getting ready to move up here. Um, and it is. It's an outlet. I've met a lot of really cool people through YouTube, a lot of really great friends. So I really enjoy that aspect of YouTube. There's the creativity side of it. Um, I don't know, I just really like it. It's really difficult sometimes, and sometimes it just kind of drives you nuts, and sometimes you need to take a break. But in general, I just really enjoy doing YouTube. Um, question number three, how long have you been gardening? How long have you been gardening? Let's see, we moved up here three years ago. We really started trying to garden last year. So for me, it was last year. Long history gardening. <laughs> I mean, I, I grew up in this, well, in a sort of city. I mean, this, uh, I'm in a state that's very not city, but um, where I grew up. But that was my mentality: is I was much, very much a city type person, and so a city boy from Wyoming. Yeah, but uh, I didn't know they they turn those guys out, but they do. <laughs> but I am learning, and uh, I don't know. I've never liked getting my hands dirty, though. Uh, I've been gardening since I was a little kid. My parents had a huge garden, like a quarter acre garden up by the house. And then for a few years, my dad had another garden down the hill that we did other stuff in, like more melons and things because they take up more space. So as a kid, I grew up with a big garden. We'd go get lunch out of that big garden. We'd pick what we wanted and go wash it off with hose needed or not wash it off with hose, whatever. 
Um, so I gardened my whole life pretty much, and then we got married, we didn't really garden. We tried a little bit when we lived in Meridian in the suburbs, but... Uh, yeah, I guess we did a little bit. We weren't really allowed to. We asked if we could garden, and our landlord said no. We said, oh, even if we, like, buy the sod and, like, fix it, and him, nope. So Kurt built some, like, raised tabletop things we had out on the porch we tried for a while. That didn't go awesome, mostly because I had little little kids and a baby and I just forgot to water it. There were some strawberries, there was a little bitty garden bed, little raised bed against the fence that there were some strawberries in so we did get a few strawberries and by a few tomatoes. I mean. We did have a few tomatoes but it was like you'd go out and have this little palm full and you're like oh my gosh we grew something. <laughs> but it wasn't enough to really like feed us, it was just kind of for fun. Yeah. And then we moved here and we've been trying. Um, and we're moving, and I'm like, alright, let's. we're not going to do anything. But then I planted stuff in the cold frames anyway, so I've got microgreens and salad greens growing in the cold frames, which I'm like, okay, that's not like the main garden. And then we have blue plastic cups of plants on like all the windowsills. Because I'm like, oh, well, I'll just grow a couple of things. I can put that in a pot later if I need to. Like, it's fine. And, and then the kids are like, oh, well, we want to we wanna grow stuff too. So, there, yeah, there's like several dozen blue cups around my house full of little plants. I don't know what we're going to do with them. We'll see. Hopefully nothing, because hopefully we'll get to move. There's that. I have local friends who will take stuff, plants, I'm sure that we've started if we end up moving. But I did do a few, like, cherry tomatoes and some early dwarf peas so that I could put them in pots just so that we could have something. Um, number four, what do you grow? Again, I'm... We try to go greens, tomatoes, peppers. Veggies, mostly. I mean, yeah. Um, we don't have any fruit tree. Well, no, that's a lie. We have a lemon tree. A little dwarf lemon tree, which we actually got lemons off of, which is cool. But we don't have um, fruit or berries. We did plant... We planted close to 100 raspberry. It was like 98 raspberry starts from starts. a friend we went and picked up. And some of them have leaves on them, which is exciting, but we're probably never going to actually get to eat any of the berries. So they won't, because they won't be ready, and we have blackberry bushes, but same scenario, we probably won't get to eat any of the berries. So mostly just veggies. I really like a good garden fresh tomato. And melons are amazing, but really hard to grow here. So number five, what is your favorite thing to grow? I don't know, we haven't really <laughs> truly been fully successful. <laughs> we, there is some beautiful lettuce and microgreens out in those <laughs> boxes. Really, they, they've done really well. Um, I like tomatoes. Yeah. They're delicious, although nothing beats a garden fresh, sun warmed watermelon. They're the best thing in the world. They're better than ice cream. Like, I would take that over chocolate. The so, raspberries, uh, I, I was sad that we're not probably going to get to eat any of the raspberries because that's the one thing. I'd go to my grandparents who lived in the same town as I grew up in and we would go and pick raspberries. They had a good size little garden. But, um,. I like fresh raspberries, and so... So that's the goal. When we move, we want to make sure that we get some berry bushes in pretty quickly. Oh, we do have mulberry. We just got this yep. little bitty mulberry starts that I'm really excited for because I love mulberries. They're delicious, and my kids have never had them. You don't, like, go to the store and buy mulberries. So, to top this all off, we want to garden. We try to garden. We're not awesome at it right now. It is really hard here a lot. I mean, we have a few friends that garden here. Most people, you ask them about gardening here, and they laugh at you. Yeah. So, we're trying. Anyway. But we do have friends that have done it successfully. Um, it takes a lot of work, a lot of water, because we are very dry during the summer here. Yeah. Um, but. But we're moving, and when we get to Missouri, I can garden in Missouri. I grew up there. I know better how to garden there, so we are planning a really awesome garden for when we're there. I feel a little bad that I didn't really figure it out here, but I'm not going to beat myself up too much because... We learned plenty of other things here too, though, so... Yeah, it's been great. So, I will link that playlist below if you want to see our wonderful, hopeful start to the spring last year and then our <laughs> epic failure. <laughs> it's all there! It's all there! So. Um, I'm going to have the kids do this, and when they get theirs up, I will link that um, in the description box below. In fact, I'll probably go ahead and link their channel so you can go subscribe if you want to. They haven't put up anything recently because we've been busy, but they're cuties and they, they try hard. So, uh, we hope you guys have a great week. We will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.
But why do we garden? As my wife told me too. Why do we YouTube? Jen said we're supposed to. Okay, do you want to do this? How long have you been gardening? Moral support. Okay. Why do you grow? Because oh, that's grow things. Oh my gosh. Where did you? What do you? What do you grow? Not why. <laughs> okay, now we're like. Grow mold. I need to move over. Because well, you turned it. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I turned it. I shouldn't have turned it. Is that too far away? Do I need to like zoom in? Probably. <laughs> no, I could have done that. You could have, but you're the one who... Yeah, okay. It's probably close to that. Do you have a view to miss me? Okay. Alright, we're going to do this. Did you want to see it without the light? No. Okay. No, it's fine. I'll pull off my phone until I look at it. Oh, are you recording? Yeah. We're recording. Okay. I cut it off. this. <laughs> Alright, so... Hey! Stop! You have to take this seriously or I'm going to crack up. Alright. I can't take him anywhere. Okay.